Oh my gosh. Is this a Felicia, Felician garden <laughs> spray? <laughs> Katie, she made the menu. Well, hello, Life Disney and Beyond. We are inside Galaxy's Edge, and we are trying some treats and food today. You'll know kind of what to expect, what we liked, what we didn't like, how to order things, yeah. and give you some price points, too. Hey, and just take a minute real quick to subscribe to this channel, uh, keep you updated on everything Galaxy's Edge, everything Disneyland, and just everything fun in life. And when you do, make sure to hit your little bell notification there so you're the first to know when we upload and when we go live. That's right. Let's, uh, let's go get into this Galaxy's Edge food. Okay, over here in this part of the outpost, this little station right here is where the blue and the green milk is offered, so we're gonna try that out first. Here's the crazy thing is, see these vats right here? You can hear inside this vat they're making the blue and the green milk. Yum. The blue milk's $7.99, green milk's $7.99. That's in credits. Here's the green milk and the blue milk. They are non-dairy. It's kind of like a slushy type thing. They are $7.99 each. You do not get an annual pass holder discount. They don't know what annual pass holders are here. They don't know. This is but two. It's $7.99 credits. Yes. $7.99 in credits. Yes. Um, now, to do the little hack to swirl it, they don't personally do that, but you can ask for an extra cup ah. and pour it in. Ah, so let's... we're going to show you how to do that. All right, let's see how good your technique is. First, we're going to taste it, then we'll try it. Okay. Okay, so green milk. All right. Here we go. Really good. Very fruity. Really good. All right, let's try the blue. Really fruity. I actually like the blue a little bit better. Okay. Yeah. I'll be the judge of that. I wonder what you're gonna say. So let's see what you think of this one. It's good, it's like exotic fruity kind of. It is a, a little yeah. more fruity, I'd say, yeah. maybe. Yeah. It's more earthy flavor. This one's for Aunt Baru. I prefer this one better too. Me too. It's got a little bit more of a like a fruit roll-up taste, maybe, but yeah, it does. It's a little bit of a, a starbursty kind of. Not as tart. Not as tart, but I would prefer the, the blue milk. All right, are blue you milk. ready to are you ready to swirl them together? I will do the I will do us the honors. Extra cup. Okay. For free. All right. We're gonna do some blue. All right. We're gonna do some green. Okay. Oh, I see a little bit at a time. Can you see the green? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit of blue. Oh, there you go. That's a good call to finish off with the. Oh, I see. Oh, no. Oh, no. And a little more blue. Yeah, I always say you finish with that blue, yeah, on the top. You're like a barista yeah, over here. I'm you're you're the Batu Rista. I'm the Batu Rista. All right. Are you ready to try this, my dear? I am. I like okay. it. I, like I made it. it just for you. <laughs> What do you think of the mix? I like the mix. It, it's, it's like another flavor, actually. It combines to make kind of another flavor. Mm. I like it best mix. It's like, if you want it really exotic, do that. Because that makes Here, it... Charlie. Yeah, let's see what Charlie thinks. Get the... Uh, yeah, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. yeah, all right. That's interesting. <laughs> That's a polite way of saying, like, I don't know if I'm digging that, huh? I like Actually, it. it's not bad. It's, it's pretty darn right? good. Yeah. It's like kind of it like, it, it makes it a little more exotic. Like, you're not sure what the heck it is. Like, yeah. You know? You don't know what you're drinking, but yeah. it's your darn taste. Nice. I highly recommend it. There you go. I do. Very good. All right, over here at the bazaar, you can get that Batu popcorn. It's like all the different flavors, kind of crazy. It comes in like a little bag. You can also get your mouse droid popcorn bucket and fill it up with it. Look at that stuff. And it, it does taste different since it's cooked in coconut oil. It's nice. $8.49 credits. All right. How do you say the $8.49 of credits? I think you said it right the first time. <laughs> it's almost spicy and fruity. Yeah, it's Very got this, weird. yeah, sweet, savory. Every kernel is almost a different flavor, it feels like. Yeah. That's good. Definitely something to check out if you want a different snack. It's a good thing to take home. And if you buy it with a souvenir mouse droid, it's $21. Sorry, 21 credits. So we just got back from Ronto's Roasters. 
and we tried two of the three drinks. Uh, we highly recommend these two. We've tried them both, absolutely love them. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about both of them. So this is called the My Lu Run Juice. I'm saying it really slow because it's quite the tongue twister. It's about 5.49 credits. There is an annual pass holder discount, so that's great. It is Aguas Frescas Pineapple, Simply Lemonade with Blueberry, White Cranberry Juice, Lemon Juice, and Desert Pear. So we highly recommend that one. Um, we tried it, we loved it, it's a little bit sweet. As opposed to the Kessel Run, 12 parsecs? <laughs> this is the um, Milo Run? The Milo Run, yeah. That's Got it. The I think that's the idea. But it's definitely a little bit more on the sweet and fruity side. So if you're looking for something that kind of tastes like, I don't know, like a like a red Starburst maybe, I guess. But yeah. it's, it's a little sweeter and a lot fruitier and almost a little tart. It would be really good to uh, water down if you want something. Oh like yeah, Katie does that. Split. It's a good hack to water things down. Yeah. Then it goes a lot longer. You could probably make two drinks out of yeah. that. This would be a good, it almost tastes like a melted, red and grape popsicle mix. Oh, uh, okay. I, I kind of agree, yeah. The next one here is called the Tatooine Sunset. It is also 5.49 credits. And let me give you a quick description of what's in here. It's pretty simple. It's just unsweetened tea, a dwala lemonade, melon, and blueberry. And this is actually our favorite. I have to say the color is, is prettier on this one, but the taste of this is... Well, but that's a true, that's, you know, Tatooine Sunset. It's a desert planet and sandstorms. And so the sunsets tend to be kind of brownish orange tones, you yes. know. And this one is the best because it tastes like an Arnold Palmer, if you know what that tastes yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then it's got a fruity finish because of the blueberry. Ah, the fruity finish. This is like the award-winning drink so far that we've had here. All I right. Mean, yeah, no, I think this is probably the best drink. If you have to have one drink, this is the one, especially in the summer. All right. Better than the blue milk even. All right, so this food item Ooh. is a, called a Ronto Wrap, and it's over at the Ronto Roaster. It is 12.99 credits before your annual pass discount. So basically what it is is roasted pork, grilled pork sausage, peppercorn sauce, tangy slaw, and it's all wrapped in this really fluffy, delicious pita. So we're gonna give that a try and see how it is. Good. Spicy, sweet, uh, what you got? Savory? Savory? It's really good. It's like the tangy slaw goes really well because it's it's like a salty, smoky uh, oh, pork. Okay. And then the pita is really, really good. So let's see what you think of it. All right. All right, so this item you can get for it's lunch or too. dinner here. Yeah, it's pretty, this'll, it's, this'll fill you up. it's pretty substantial. Okay. All right. Have at it. How do you like your food from the Black Spire Outpost? It's really good. It's hearty. It's like, you know, this will fill you up. It's roasted pork on the outside. Yeah, so it, it makes for a nice combo with the roasted pork and then the, the sausage or whatever. Do is you that? like the peppercorn sauce? I do. And I the do. tangy slaw? I think this would be a good thing to split between two people, too. Yeah, the slaw is really good. Look at that. Yeah. Right? And some pork and it's a really good um uh, it's a really good pork sausage like it's got a good like snap when you bite into it yeah, yeah. And i think that's really important if you're gonna have something i don't know it feels really good and the cool thing about the food here so far that i've noticed is that it's very exotic you know um there are a lot of things that we're used to having but they're blending things uh, there's there's some middle eastern flair on some of the food uh, hence the pita you know yeah um Really cool how they did that. The design, the food design. All right, we're gonna finish this off now. Okay, over here at uh, Docking Base Seven, we're like we can see the Falcon from right here. It's like it's right there. All experience eating in the galaxy. Yeah, uh, we're gonna go check out uh, and see what kind of food offerings they have. We've heard some good things about the tip yip. Uh, we're excited about that, among other things. A little bit more of a sit down thing. So yeah, um, we would say Ronto's Roasters is a little bit better if you want to do a quick service. Yeah. Um, and then this is going to be a little bit more casual, kind of casual. Yeah. Right, so, but more options over here, and they have breakfast. But yeah. for today, we're going to check out the uh, the afternoon and lunch type of uh, options. Yeah. I wonder what market price is on this right now. I'm going to have to ask when I get up there. Look, it's a Bantha with the two rising moons. 
That's what the uh, sand people ride. You don't want to see Bantha tracks. That's not a good sign. You better watch your back if you see those. Uh, oh my gosh, is this a Felicia Felician Garden Spring? <laughs> Katie, she made the menu. She made it. <laughs> Felicia made it. Bye, Felicia Garden Spread. Bye, Felicia Garden Spread. Even though they don't do anything, but I'm just gonna keep keep pushing buttons because you never know. At some point, something might actually activate. So, Doggy Bay 7 has an allergy uh, menu, allergy friendly menu. That's really cool, a lot of gluten free options. Look at that. Peanut that, allergy, yeah. fish allergy. All allergies represented, so no one's limited here. No, no one's one. limited. Beautiful, thank you. All right, really cool patio out here. Look at this, you guys, with a really nice view of the spires. What do we got here, Katie? All right, so this is the fried tip yip. It's basically a, like a fried chicken with a veggie mashed potato assortment thing and like a little gravy or sauce. Looks which, really good. We, and we've heard good things. Uh, yes. People around saying they've had this and they enjoyed it. Yes. This is on the kids menu. Um, it's about eight or nine credits before your discount. So it's basically like a nice cold shrimp salad. It's chilled. So this would be really good in the summer. That's a good deal too. Yeah. And it's, you know, of course it's not spicy because it's for the kids. It's pretty healthy. This yeah. is like full of garlic and I don't know. It looks really good. So we're going to try that. And it looks so exotically spaced. Like yeah. all these things look like you've never seen this stuff anywhere before. They did well. I mean, and the other thing I keep thinking about is like in the summer, like sometimes you want to eat light and you don't want to have like a ton of food. Right. And you're only paying $9, nine yeah. credits. And it's nice and cold. So it's not like, it's not bad at all. This one's called A Taste of Takadana. Uh, it has like edible soil in there. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what that is. Yeah. But it's a black bean based hummus. Okay. Um, some uh, cold string beans and then tomatoes, some fresh lettuce, and it looks like some whole wheat with, um, uh, what are those seeds called? Che not chia seeds, black seeds in it. Oh, okay. And they're toasted. It's not like a, you know, a soft situation. So again, about eight or nine credits. Yeah healthy yeah like these are your hacks right here people like, yeah this is good stuff go. if you're on a diet at disneyland um, and then what is this amazing uh, now this is the uh batu bond wow so it's a chocolate i heard it's like chocolate kind of mocha flavored yeah we'll have to try it and it looks like it has moss but it's actually a passion sponge and then we are going to wash it down with some moof juice and moof juice uh they say is simply fruit punch okay. and simply orange with chipotle pineapple Oh, that's actually really good. So that's interesting. The Chipotle pineapple uh, definitely is going to make it interesting. It's good. Really? It's good. It's You know what I like about this? Not too sweet. Right. Not too sweet. Figures you would like it since you're a moof milker. <laughs> now, the best part of this, after all, I mean, literally, besides the view, besides the price, yeah. besides the nutrition of this all. This little detail. Look at these forks. They, forks. They're metal. They're metal. All right, let's dig in. Get your, what do you call this? It's not a dingle hopper. It's like a, It's know. a, well, it's like a spork, right? So I'm calling it the uh, black spork. Uh, black spoyer? Black spire spork. Black spire spork. I, like I don't it. know. Get yours out. Cheers. <laughs> All right. We're I know that was our first in. cheers in Galaxy's Edge. we Ed. don't need the spork for this. No, we, we might not. Hopper. I just wanted to cheers it because we, we did that, but. To. All right. Okay, so. This is the black bean hummus with edible soil. Let's see how it tastes. And I'm doing a cucumber first. This is so healthy. All right. Oh, it's really good. Is it? it? Smells good. Mm. I love the smell of cucumber. It's so fresh. Mm -hmm. All right. I would have fed you. Thanks, Moose Milker. Thanks, Moose Milker. Oh, look at it. It's pieces of cauliflower. That what is do you good. think? It's good. And then look at cauliflower. This is like we're eating healthy. It's refreshing. All right, I'm gonna try this with the cauliflower. Mmm. I've got to give you a picture of that. Mmm. Oh that yeah. That is so good. I'm loving that they're going with a lot of the Middle East flavors and spices because when you're here, it kind of feels like that, you yeah. know. Uh, with the buildings and you know, it's remote. It's like desert region very much like the Middle East and I heard that the Imagineers uh, A lot of them went over there and spent a lot of time in the Middle East doing research Not only for the visuals of the land, but for the food and all that stuff. So good on you guys. It really worked out this is So good I was hoping I wouldn't find something that I'd be obsessed with and 
love because now I'm gonna want this all month. They, it's not gonna come back. They eat healthy on Batu, I'm finding. When you're back on, uh, when you're off planet over there in Disneyland, as they say. It's a little different. It's a little different, you know. Oh, yeah. Lettuce is the best part. All the different veggies. This is amazing. Yeah. Decadent spices, too. I'm having my moof. moof. It's amazing, you guys. It's really What's good. What's juice called again? Moof juice? Moof. Moof juice. I like the moof juice the best. I haven't tried the moof juice yet. Well, here you go. Hand friend. it over. Here you are, my friend. Oh, that's good. Right? It's not too sweet. I'm trying to think of what it, it reminds me of something. I know. I can't figure out what it reminds me of. It's, it's fruit punchy. A little bit of fruit punch base, kind of. Mm. Kind of tastes a little bit like Hawaiian punch. Not as sweet, though. It's not bit, even a fraction as sweet. But it's got that, that hint of the punch in there. To me, it uh, tastes like a, like a, a sherbet a little bit, but not as sweet at yeah. all. Okay, so on to our noodle salad. Did you just say mk? Okay. Okay. You did. did. You totally did. Okay. Um, so it looks like it's like fresh shrimp and garlic. I mean, I guess we're just gonna have to dive in, and I'm so excited to it use. Smells these good. Utensils. I can smell the garlic. You can, and we yes. love garlic. Yeah, big fans Spencer of garlic. And I are both like big garlic. It's good for the blood. <laughs> it's good for the soul. That is too. Mm. Oh okay. You know how much you and I love that shaker salad over at... Tropical Hideaway? It's better than that. What? It's better. I'll be the judge of that. All right. Unhand it's this. Better. Bring it. Give me this. It's better than that. I'm use this as a tool. I know. Look at how hard it is to eat though. You have to think. I washed my hands really well. Just gotta physically wrap it. All right. I'm gonna try the noodles first uh, just by themselves and then I'm gonna do a shrimp, a scrimp as they say. And it's not spicy at all. It's in mess. It's better, huh? It's a little less gingery, but it's like really good. But it's nice. So fresh. I can say that about it everything so, so far. It's very fresh. Let's try a, uh, a scrimp. And it's cool that they have that because I noticed there was, you know, sea creatures hanging in there uh, drying for... They were. So, uh, this could be what this is. It might not even be a shrimp, you guys. It could be something. It could be something else. You know what? It might be that little animal in the trash compactor that tried to get loot. Could be. It's kind of snake-like. Really fresh shrimp, too. Not fishy tasting at all. Mm -hmm. Really good. So, we've been hearing about this one. Everybody's been recommending this that, uh, that we've talked to. So, so let's see if it lives up to that expectation. Okay. It's like a fried chicken and mashed potatoes type Five. of deal, but maybe not. Almost like looks like the, a French toast stick. I like that it's like cut like this. I don't know why, but it's pleasing to me. I like that it's like cut like this. I don't know why, but it's pleasing to me. This pleases you. It pleases me. All, All right. right. Dig in, gonna, Katie. We're going to kind of just break it up. Oh, wow. It's nice white meat. Ooh. So you can see. Beautiful. I'm going to cut a smaller Smells piece. Smells great, yet again. We're going to try and get everything in this bite. Now, fried chicken at Disneyland is notoriously some of the most amazing fried chicken. Right, but but that's at Disneyland. That's, that's off planet. Disneyland, so yeah, that's I a lot. Know, that's but I know really we're far. close to Disneyland. Yeah, yeah. All right. Wow, that's good. The sauce is a little salty. Okay. But. It's delicious. I'm gonna make you a bite. A dinner option or a nice, like, hearty lunch? Yeah. That is good. Like, it's good. It's an everything bite. And I'm not Those just saying ones. if it's good. I tell you the truth that I don't like it. Mm. Nice. It's good. Hearty. Feels like homey, kind of. You know what I mean? Like, the mash is really good with the vegetables. The cool thing about these dishes is you can get one salad and one entree and split it. I don't, for us, I think that would be more than enough. Enough food, though. We could even split the move juice if we uh, watered it down like that. And we did. And we did. <laughs> and we did. Okay, time for the Batu Bon. We've been waiting for this. We hear good things. So we think it might have like some white chocolate in it, maybe like a little mocha or it's something. It's so pretty, isn't it? It's like... Like it's soft on the top and then it's got a shell on the bottom. And what, what, is there a little logo on this? Oh, it's the Black Spire Outpost. Oh, how cool is that? Look at the Black Spire Outpost logo, you guys. Amazing detail. Wow. That is really cool. We're gonna make this interesting while we eat it. It may be our last. So take your bite. 
get some of the top and the bottom shell. Good luck. Oh my gosh. I think I got it. Yeah. You did good. You did good. All right, ready? Cheers. Oh. Cheers. All right, go. Wow. So it's very light. The top layer is very light and then it's sort of, you know, like almost like a brownie on the bottom kind of cake. Yeah. Cakey. Really good. Yummers. Tastic. So let's see what the moss. It is like a passion fruit. Maybe just bite that piece of moss and tell us what you think. Okay. I was thinking it would pick it up. It has no flavor. But it's weird. The texture is totally like moss. Like I'm eating like moss from like a, a train layout. Like a, no, oh like my a, gosh. Try this sauce. What is it, like custard or something? No. I'm gonna try it with, with my bite. So, the sauce that they smear on the plate there. What? Oh my god. I think it's passion fruit. Mm -hmm. It is. Mmm, that's good. That makes it really interesting. It's really cool that, you know, these things, it really feels like you're on another planet because, you know, you would think, oh, they're gonna have an R2-D2 dessert or something like that. No. They're not doing that because that wouldn't make theme. sense. They went full theme. Like this is what these people would be eating and creating if they were chefs here on this planet. So it's definitely take a big bite from the middle. Yeah. It's definitely mocha. Oh yeah. Definitely mocha. So good. Totally a shareable dessert. It's small, but it's I a agree. good shareable dessert. Because you don't want too much. Yep. And that's just enough. Just took the whole thing down. Especially now that summer's coming. Yeah. You know, you gotta have your black spire summer body going, so. <laughs> Not me. You know, I always like to take the thing out. It's your thing. Mm. All right, well, that wraps up uh, our first uh, food review here at the Galaxy's Edge. And, yes. uh, at Batu. I mean, that was, everything was so good. It was healthy. I was lots surprised. Of, yeah, and lots of good things to try. I think you oh. guys are going to enjoy it when Exotic. you come down here. You're oh. going to be the expert when you show up with your friends and family True. for your first visit. And let us know what you think. Like, if you guys tried the stuff yeah. that we had, if you liked it, if there's something that we didn't try that, that you tried, please let us know because we'll try it next time. Definitely. Right? So if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and when you do, hit that bell notification right next to the subscribe button. That way you're the first to know when we upload our videos yeah. and when we go live. That's right. And if you want to support our channel, you can become one of our Patreon leashes. We'll put all the information on how to do so in the description box right there below. Yeah, and you can be a Batu leash too. If you oh, even to. a Batu leash. Yeah. All right, from Batu, Black Spire Outpost, Galaxy's Edge, here at Disneyland. We'll see you next time on Life Disney and Beyond. Bye bye, bye. everybody.